Hi Aquarius, my sunshine brothers and sisters, welcome to your fortnightly check-in with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Aquarius, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're gonna to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, the word fortnight means two weeks. Uh, for those, so many people have asked me in the question, so I'm just going to address it here in the video. A fortnight represents a period of time that is two weeks long. Uh, and also remember to watch these for your sun, moon and ascendant so that you can figure out which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. All right, so for our cross purposes for the next two weeks, you have... All right, so on the macrocosmic level, you've got the Empress card. Okay, so um, quite frankly, one of the challenges that you have over the fortnight ahead uh, is that it's not so much that people aren't taking you seriously, it's more a case of they aren't taking what, you, what you're thinking is quite serious or you're trying to knuckle down on or to home in on. You might find that the energy around those things or in those specific sectors is not as uh, focused, hardworking, or disciplined as you would like it. So don't take it personally, all right? It's it's nothing to do with you. It's just the energy's a bit lighter hearted than, you know, than maybe you need or, or desire at this moment in time. Now that's on the macrocosmic level. It's what you don't really have control over. What you do, uh, or should I say, <laughs> you know, yeah, within reason, on the microcosmic level, where may you be getting or creating your own cross purposes? And you have the moon card. So in relation to the past, how you explore, experience, pleasure seems to be coming up for some kind of review here, all right? So I would look at this really deeply and really powerfully so that you can ask yourself, okay, where is it that I deny myself and maybe, the reason that everybody's sort of kicking back and having a good time and being in that sort of chill vibe, maybe the reason it rubs you so sort of raw at this time is because you're being encouraged not to be so serious, to snap out of work mode so that you can just kind of relax and recuperate, right? It's interesting for sure. Uh, for your actions and interactions with the world at large, you've got the Five of Swords, you've got the Magician card, and you've got the Ten of Swords. Be very careful, my dear Aquarians, because it looks like there's some kind of cross wires going on here. There's a potential for a blowout, right? The, the Ten of Swords as an argument usually represents like a stonking argument, right? And the Five of Swords is harsh words. So when I see these two coupled together with the Magician card, this is either someone in your midst is a shit stirrer and is causing a big problem between you and another person, or, it could also be that you are having a, like you're having a real miscommunication with someone. It's like, it's almost like it's a Mercury retrograde, but it's not. And it's like, it kind of, the way that it hits, it ends up getting quite explosive. And this could be a partially because you're trying to force something. It's like, you're trying to make something happen and everyone's like, Dude, just give up the ghost. It's not, you know, it's not time for that right now. Like there'll be time for that. We can do that. We can do it later, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just chill your horses, all right? For your career and communications, you've got the two of swords, lots of air here. I mean, it's all air so far with the queen of wands, okay? And the two of wands. So what do we see here? Two twos. Two twos is a bond, a pact and an accord. So this does suggest that you are renegotiating some kind of contract or some kind of uh, work-based par work partnership, but you're having to really lay the, the foundations or not even the foundations, you're having to really kind of set the boundaries 
And this could be around a colleague, it could be around a friend, an employee, if you have any. Um, it could, like, this is you having to really set the tone for something. And, you know, unfortunately, this is one of those times where you're going to have to hold yourself to, the, well, not unfortunately, you're going to have to hold yourself to the same standard. Uh, so for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, it does look like you're going to need to partner up here. So partner up, maybe you're working in a group for a specific assignment or whatever. And what interests me here is this, right? Nobody's taking anything as serious as maybe you want them to. And so you might need to change your approach. It might need to be lighter, lighter hearted, etc. When it comes to your, um, oh God, come on brain. When it comes to your those of you that are employed by somebody else, there's potential to make more money here, but it relies on you speaking up on something that you deem to be quite unfair. So this could be where you say to a boss, like, you know, there's there's overtime every week and you always seem to give it to the same people. What, you know, is, is there no chance that I can get in on the action? Or like, you're there's something here where you are having to stand up for it. But again, if you're like the bugbear and you're always that person that kind of brings the vibe down a bit, they're going to be less likely to say yes. All right. So you, you do need to adjust your Aquarius is quite a chill sign. Right. So to see you so highly strung is a little bit, you know, juxtaposed. Um, that being said, we can be quite highly strung and high maintenance. So <laughs> there is that for uh, those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves. This is the renegotiation of a contract and potentially this comes after a blowout or potentially leads to one. All right. So this could be where you're kind of setting the tone with clients or uh, with um, employees if you have them or collaborators. Uh, and in order to kind of progress and move things forward, you are going to have to ad adapt your approach. But at the same time, you have to hold your boundaries. I'm not saying that you have to change everything about your approach because that hardworking energy is great to have. However, if it becomes workaholism and you expect everybody else to hold that same culture, it's going to become a problem. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this could be you having to set boundaries around friendships and or money and finances. And maybe, just maybe, this, this fortnight you're realising that certain types of friends don't mix with others. For your... Uh, Love and relations, you've got the Six of Cups, so a reconnection potentially with a past lover. Uh, the King of Cups, okay, and the King of Pentacles. So if you are single and looking to mingle, this looks like you are going to have options. You have uh, options. Now, there's two kings here. A King of Cups, who's likely to be a bit fairer skinned, uh, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes around that kind of energy or somebody that is a lot more in touch with their intuitive or emotional or feminine side. Then you've got the King of Pentacles, who's like a little bit more rugged, a little bit more earthy, somebody that has a bit more of a, you know, like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of uh, attitude. You know, they're very earthy, very salt of the earth. Now, you could be choosing between two options Listen, honey, I'm here for it because my love life has been dead for the last, like, for years at this point. So to have options suddenly going from zero to, you know, they say it's like buses, right? So you get nothing for ages and then all th then three show up at once. Um, this could very much be a part of that. Uh, for those of you that are partnered, married or in long term commitments, so two kings represents a, a minor consultation, which means like a, an appointment or an interview of some kind. This could be you and your significant other or maybe going back to a place that you've spent time in before um, and a place that you really love to go. And this could be the reset that you need in the relationship for things to kind of get back to, you know, being a bit more spicy. For your money and materials, you have the devil card. So uh, for those of you that are single, if someone new is coming in or someone from your past is returning to you, they're very likely to be a Capricorn. One of them is very likely to be a Capricorn. Um, you've got the Knight of Swords. Okay. And you've got the Lovers card. Okay. So uh, this is not a good fortnight to mix uh, money and friendship or money and relationship. Uh, especially if you're newly seeing someone or if you're single, like don't cross the financial streams just yet. 
outside of that, when it comes to your finances, there are a lot of considerations here about where to put your money because it looks like you're getting a boost to the finances, but you know, maybe you're usually like the one that will you know, just spend it as soon as it comes in. This looks like you're making a bit more of a sensible decision and you're thinking more about your longer term financial future. There are options available to you, but not all of them are viable. And so this week, when it, or this fortnight, when it comes to your money, you have to be super discerning. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, I would say this fortnight, watch out for your arms, your hands, your fingers, like your upper sort of extremities, and also get back into some kind of cardio regimen. This is a good time to start taking care of your cardiovascular health. I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice. This is an advice in that regard, um, but definitely start thinking about your cardio. And then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, this could be like, home could be busy over this next fortnight or potentially you could be busy and so you're coming and going from home. It's not necessarily that you're spending a lot of time in one place or another. Um, either which way, it's gonna be a very interesting fortnight for a lot of the Aquarians. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic fortnight. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.